In this video, we're going to demonstrate some um, advanced uses of the checkbox column in the grid component. So you can see here we have a simple grid that has a checkbox column and uh, this is uh, called grid 1. And then we have another grid here called uh, grid 2. So um, what we'd like to do is check um, a number of rows in this grid for, and then I can move on to say the next page and check a couple more over there. And then uh, after I've finished selecting which rows I want to check, be able to press um, a button now and then open up grid 2 showing only the records that were selected in grid number 1. So if we go back to the first page you can see we've got um, three records on this page, Alfki, Anitter and Anon. And then on the next page um, we have um, uh, CONSH. So when I press the button to do the AJAX callback you can see that we open up the grid showing those four records. So in the rest of the video what I'd like to do is show you how we actually did that. So let's go back now and um, uh, uh, investigate how we actually did that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is unhide uh, this button over there and then I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to unhide um, um, this. There's a div here. Um, this, there's a div that I've put in the above region, in the uh, the freeform region, and I'm going to turn off the um, style that hides those two um, these two divs. And you can see that the one div has an ID of checkbox filter, and the other has not an ID of checkbox um, arguments. And then finally, I'm going to go to my AJAX callback function and comment out this line over here and then uh, go, go back now t uh, to my grid and I'm going to just click on three rows and then press uh, this button over here and what you can see has happened um, actually I must not have uh, un unhidden one of the uh, divs let's go back to uh, properties now and above the grid and um, I uh, made a mistake over there so let's uh, go back now and then save it and uh, when I check on say these three rows now and then do an Ajax callback what happens is um, I'm putting into that hidden div um, a filter expression and a set of um, arguments so the filter expression is the SQL filter expression that was computed on the server based on the rows that were checked and this is the arguments uh, to supply values for each one of these um, these arguments over here. So let's go back now to our XBasic and uh, if we look in our properties here for action buttons we can see that this button here is just simply calling an AJAX callback uh, action JavaScript and calling an XBasic function called OpenGrid2. So let's go and take a look now inside OpenGrid2 and w what we'll actually do is put in a uh, debug1 statement. So I'm going to go now and run it and I'll check say two rows there and then press the AJAX callback. So here's the AJAX callback that just took place and then inside the E object that gets passed in I can see that um, we have let's just go and delete those existing entries there and uh, type in E and then if I drill down into E I can see that on the server we took the the checkboxes that were checked and we turned that into a checkbox filter so there's the actual filter um, expression that would be needed in order to select the two rows that were checked and here are the arguments that supply the values for this first argument PK value row 1 and PK value row 2 so there are the um, the, the XML version of the uh, of the arguments so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video